All right, Kathy, thanks for being here. How are you meeting the needs of students here at IUSB? Well, what we find, and it's typical, I think, across the country, is that when students go through high school, particularly students who maybe don't have quite the resources and maybe the encouragement that um, other students have, there is a need to help our, what we call them, our conditional admit students, students who have infinite possibility, but maybe haven't had the study skills, um, maybe the, the depth of challenge that other students have to, to really realize their potential. So here at IUSB, we have a magnificent program that helps students realize their potential and helps them to see that they are not alone, that they belong, that they can do it, and that it's worth it. And so we have created a program called U100 where we have um, excellent teachers who work in these areas with our students and here's something really important, Monica. We have peer mentors. We have students that make the content relevant. Students who mirror, what do you do when it gets really tough? And you began to question, can I do it? And we have peer mentors who show them, who demonstrate, yeah, you can do it. And so, so much of this is a belief system. Do I believe in myself? Because maybe their stories they're telling themselves, I never was good at this, I never was good at math, I was never good at English, people told me I couldn't succeed in college. We have to help them create new stories and give them concrete strategies so they will be successful. And I think we do a pretty good job. The work that you, that's amazing, the work that you're doing. How do you, let's explore more, how you help students work past their self-limiting beliefs. Correct. Many times um, students have what's called a fixed mindset. What that means is they believe that whatever intelligence they were born with, whatever personality they were born with, it will go no further. It cannot be developed. We teach them through brain research that your brain is plastic and it can grow. You can learn. And just because you meet an obstacle that does not mean that you're not smart, it means that by working through it with good strategies, you will develop better neuron connections, um, more gray, gray mass in your brain, and you can do it. We have a saying with something called the growth mindset. I can't do it yet. And it's the power of yet. And we hope that our, our faculty, and we believe they do, inspire within our students this concept that you're on your way. It's a process. And with getting the guidance, the coaching that you need, you're going to make it. We believe you can make it. You wouldn't be here if you couldn't make it. And this penetrates not just academic life, all the struggles that all of us go through with that kind of mindset, focusing on what you can do and having the humility and the trust to get guidance from others. That positive network of people and that encouragement really does go far. Let's talk about how we can address issues with our young people. Um, as you know, many are many have behavior issues. Correct. They, are, they have mental illness, ADHD. Correct. How can we help? How can we help these students? Correct. So a part of it starts with, in my opinion, the teachers. The teachers themselves need to view the student as a miraculous opportunity of potential within that student. If we come into that classroom negative, 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 or if we come into that classroom stereotyping based on background, appearance, we are already doomed that student. But if we come in there, in my opinion, with a heart of love, with fantastic preparation, with a desire to engage, and a desire and a belief that you can get better day by day, and you know what? I believe in you, you belong, and you're gonna do it, and we're here to see you on, on your way. I think great things can happen. And part of it has to do with how we talk to students. If you only praise the end result, if you only say, oh, you got an A, you're smart. What happens is if a student doesn't do so well, they begin to question themselves, maybe I'm not so smart. Maybe I don't wanna take on the next challenge. Maybe I'm gonna reveal that I'm not as good as, as what I thought. It's really important to, to praise the process. You know what I noticed? You went over that problem three times until you decided what you wanted to do on it. You really put the effort in there. I really admire that. And look, you are improving. A lot has to do with how we talk to the students about their results. So that's, that's very critical. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that you want to add? I just want to say that I think teaching is a fantastic profession. And here at IUSB, um, 
we celebrate being able to work with students. It is part of our soul, part of our vocation, and the limitless possibilities of our students is there. We have to, we have to get good teaching, we have to get good methodology, we have to have a heart of service, and we have to be there step by step with those students, and great things will happen and are happening.